Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to connect with you this week on this Tuesday live stream. It is May 2nd, 2018. At least I think that's the date. No, it's after the 2nd. The 5th was Saturday, 6, 7, 8, 9. Today's the 9th. And um, I got confused because somebody asked me to chant for their their brother's passing, which was on the 2nd. So, But welcome and thank you for joining today's live stream. Uh, it is my pleasure to be with you today. Today I'm going to be focusing on something that I have not done a practice or teaching on, coming from the Tao Science book from Dr. and Master Shaw and Master Rulin, <coughs> associated with the Bagua and the Heart Chakra. And so I hope you stick around for that. I believe it will serve you well, and it will be something that you most likely have not heard before. There's a lot of value in uh, some of the ancient wisdoms, including the ancient Chinese wisdoms, and a lot of value in the Bagua, something that I have to admit I have very little knowledge of uh, other than what I have read through Master Shah's books. But that seems to be certainly sufficient for when I apply the wisdom and the practices that he teaches, invariably there is a huge and beneficial result. So I'm very grateful for all you joining today and I hope you can stick around the entire time of this live stream and do this uh, learn this wisdom and do these practices with me. Um, and if by chance you cannot, then you know the, this is recorded, of course, you can come back and watch if you're new and it's something that uh, you want to watch later but you're not going to be able to stick around, make sure you like and subscribe to my Facebook page and then of course you'll have that opportunity. Before we get started, I'll do a little sharing of um, something that's coming up. Uh, I have completed now two, almost two full rounds of the Awakened Spiritual Channels program and the Advanced Awakened Spiritual Channels program. And I will be initiating the, uh, the new um, class uh, the first week of June. So at the end of this month, first week of June. So if you've had a desire to further develop your spiritual channels, uh, open or open more your third eye, uh, be able to hear and receive messages from heaven, uh, be able to clear blockages in your body and enhance your health and wellness, that's a good course to take. Um, thank you, Kristen. She just posted the link <coughs> in her chat. So if any of you are interested, follow that link and learn more about it. And then also for those that have physical challenges, emotional, mental challenges, um, I am also starting a program. Uh, it will be a year-long program. You can join for one week, one month, three months, whatever you'd like. And it's called 52 Weeks to Self-Healing. During that program, I'll be teaching directly from Master Shah's books, from the beginning of his books um, to the completion. And we'll be learning a lot of the foundational things and applying the wisdom and practices on a consistent basis throughout the week. It'll be very one-on-one. -on -one. It's a question and answer um, style of teaching. And it's only for those that register and honor for the course. It's very, very affordable. It's like um, $10 a week, 40 bucks a month. Very affordable. If you, if you purchase three months, it's even cheaper. So if you know of somebody who, um, who is awakened spiritually to where they're not going to be challenged by spiritual teachings and wisdoms to help them to heal, then do recommend them to that course. And uh, because I, I made it so affordable, my goal is to have 100 people joining it. And uh, I, it's kind of hard to, to find a course of that magnitude, that power, and that significance for that degree of affordability. So I hope you can also attend that course. And Kristen will, if she hasn't already, post that link. It's also listed on my homepage and my website, asoulhealer.com and uh, you can learn more there. <clears throat> so let's see who's checked in today. Aloha and welcome Terry Zink, welcome Phyllis Casper, aloha Kathleen Monahan and Becky Lafave, welcome Sherry Lee Hartree, welcome also to Ali Fess and Rosetta, aloha Lisa Carter, uh, aloha welcome Seema, welcome also to Tokes Beverly Coker, aloha welcome Kristen Rojas, Jack Poulton, and welcome also to Candy Cornette, Omar, welcome, 
Aloha and welcome to Kathy Arnold, Lisa Zarniak. And welcome also to Lisa Taylor. Uh, Aloha and welcome to uh, Waislawa. And to Nate Hansen. Aloha and welcome also. Now if I missed your name, forgive me. Thank you and welcome. Uh, and thank you also for coming and clicking on the share button to let other people know about this. Welcome Giovanna. <clears throat> because this, uh, this program today will help many people. Today, in case you missed it, we're going to be focusing on some wisdom from one of Master Shah's more recent books on the Message Center, specifically employing Tao Science and the Bagua. And this is very potent uh, and advanced information. Uh, it's information that incorporates 5,000-year-old ancient Chinese wisdom along with new and modern uh, Tao Science wisdom. And then uh, incorporates the, the five powers to help bring about healing and balance to the body. So welcome Van, Vana Morris and welcome also to Lisa Prado. Aloha, welcome to Robin Toth. Thank you all for coming. Thank you also for clicking on the share button. So while we're waiting for Facebook to gather more people, then we will go ahead and call in the beings of light and connect. <clears throat> so please close your eyes and fully connect. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear the soul of all the angels and healing angels, archangels, <coughs> lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, masters, buddhas, bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Kuan Yin, beloved Amitofu, the soul of Mother Earth, the stars, the sun, the moon, the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, serving the plan of the light side. We love you all, honor, respect you all. I bow my head to each of you. We ask most humbly for your blessings, your presence, your wisdom, your guidance today. Please bless each and every one of those watching today to further awaken to their healing. Guide them in their self-healing process. Guide them to release the blockages that inhibit them from having a happy and healthy life. As appropriate. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, please turn on. We invite all souls in all universes to chant with us, love, peace, and harmony. Anybody new, this is a mantra, this is a song. It's in over 40 languages. And you can learn more by going to lovepeaceharmony.org. I chant it every day, uh, and I chant it every live stream to serve humanity and to clear my own blockages. So this is a service. This is a blessing. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, ha, li. Lula, lula, ha, li. Lula. Wo ai wo xian er li. Wo ai tran ran li. Wang li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome. Yubika, welcome Jan Fairman, welcome Rena Cross, welcome Carol Whitney. Uh, thank you all for coming. So today, for those who just tuned in, I will be focusing on the application of Tao Science and the Bagua 
for the message center, which is also commonly known as the fourth chakra or heart center. I'll read uh, some, read and expand a little bit from some wisdom on Master Shah's book, which I will show you in a moment, and then we will do some practices directly from this book that will serve us. So this book called Soul Mind Body Science System, Soul Mind Body Science System. I know as it's backwards. Just came out uh, about two years ago, and it's co-written by Master Shaw and Dr. Rulin Shu. Now, in the uh, Dr. Rulin Shu is a physicist, and so um, the reason this book was created was because the divine asked Master Shaw to um, to write a book that spoke to those who are only science-minded, those who need um, math basically, to prove uh, that God exists, that, you know, source exists, that these things work. And so, um, of course, it has to be brought down to our language um, in such a way where we can read it and go, okay, I get it, um, so that anybody can enjoy it, including a scientist. And it was, and, and Master Rulin did a great job of, of bringing forth that high-level wisdom. And so... I'm going to work with this book today to help deliver some of that wisdom to assist us with further understanding the Method Center <clears throat> and the power of it and the power of these practices for it. Okay? So I will read directly from the book and then I will add in additional information regarding the Method Center if the book doesn't cover it uh, in the way that I'm intending. <clears throat> so welcome Deborah Anderson, welcome Monica. Uh, welcome everyone else. Welcome Dove. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. So this is on page 122 of the Soul Mind Body Science System book. <clears throat> and it shares about the Bagua. The Bagua, for those that are not familiar, <clears throat> is, um, and I know very little about it, so this is a very brief explanation, is ancient, 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 over 5,000 year old wisdom, uh, of eight directions uh, and they are in the form of an octagon and you may have seen it where they have uh, a flat line, a double line, and then a flat line below that. That represents, for example, water. Uh, and I don't think it actually represents water, that's an example. There's one for water, fire, mountain, thunder, the different, um, <clears throat> different directions and different powers. Anyway, the Bakwa has been used for over 5,000 years for direction, power, and guidance in the ancient traditional teachings. <clears throat> so, the second Bagua is the Li Huo, L-I-H-U-O, Li Huo. Um, Li means Li Guo, Li Guo, Huo means fire. So, Li Huo is located in the message center or the fourth soul house. So, the fire or the fire element, you've heard me speak about the five elements. There's the, the wood element, the earth element, the uh, earth element, the metal element, and the water element. These, again, are ancient traditional Chinese teachings. So the fire element has a direct association to the heart, and the bagua, because there's eight different bagua, not to be confused with the five elements, the bagua has an element called the fire element. And... The fire is the nature of yang, Y-A-N-G, yang. Welcome, Dean. Welcome, Rosemary. Fire is the nature of yang. Water is the nature of yin. Okay? <clears throat> In traditional Chinese medicine, to balance yin and yang is to heal all sickness. Now, this is very important. When you balance yin and yang, you heal all sickness. Uh, some of you have heard the, the short stories I have shared about working with a different master, a female master. And what she would do is she would put yin and yang energies into uh, tea. She would go to these um, uh, pure fields of green tea in China. She would energetically decaffeinate the green tea. Then she would sit for three days and put yang energy into one crate of tea. And then sit for another three days and put yin energy into another crate of tea. Then you would buy the tea and you would make one batch for the first 12 hours and another batch for the next 12 hours and you would sip on it a little bit throughout the day and people would get uh, healthier and healthier and healthier because the ancient teaching is when you balance your yin and yang all sickness is healed 
Okay, so this is a very important sacred teaching and a very true sacred teaching. Practicing these two natures, yin and yang, together could balance every system in your body, every organ, every cell, every space of the body. <clears throat> what are yin yang? Yin and yang is the universal law that summarizes everyone and everything in heaven, Mother Earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes in the Yo world. Yang has a fire nature. Fire nature is hot. It flows upward. It's exciting. It's active. And more. Yin, yin has a water nature. It is cold, it flows downward, it is calm, it is passive, and more. Okay? Now let us apply the four power technique to the Li Huo practice. So I'm going to come back to that practice in a little bit and I'm going to continue to share. So this is the first time that this information has been released. Welcome Nicole to Leash Curtis. This is the first time this information has been released. The Tao Bagua Mantra. He would, Master Shah would like to emphasize to every reader in humanity. Uh, this and every Tao Bagua Mantra, the mantra, which is a, a voice, a chanting, carries Wu world power. Now, Wu is a new world to a lot of you. There's Wu world and Yo world. So I'm going to have to spend a minute to explain that to you. Wu world power. So the Baguas carry Wu world power. In the Yo world, there is the soul, the mind, and body blockages. What is the Yo world? The Yo world is our physical world. Wu and Yo are Mandarin Chinese world worlds or Mandarin Chinese words that mean um, the world that is invisible and the world that is visible. Okay, so the Yo world is our world, the world of yin and yang, the world where we have suffering, the world where we have uh, life, basically, in the physical. The Wu world is the world that is the spirit world, where everything spiritual occurs, all the beings of light exist. Okay, so these are Mandarin Chinese words. <clears throat> Master Shah goes on to say, Tao fire is Wu world fire. In the Yo world, there is the soul, mind, and body blockages. I repeat it again and again so that this wisdom can be imprinted in your heart, your soul, every cell, every DNA, and RNA of your body. Wu world fire can clear soul, mind, body blockages of Yo world fire. So what is higher? Soul is higher. Soul is higher than the mind. Soul is higher than the heart. Soul is higher than the body. Soul is the highest. Soul is the Wu world. Everything comes from the world of uh, creation, the Tao, the source. That's called the Wu world. <clears throat> when you heal things at the level of the soul, then the mind and body follows. This is a baseline, foundational, one sentence secret. Welcome Karina. Welcome uh, Merciana. Thank you for coming. So, in this teaching, it is important to understand, we try to address things here at the physical level. We try to address things um, thinking that it's a physical world origination. Very often, the suffering that we have is a karmic suffering. Therefore, it's a suffering that's, that resides on the level of soul. It's a suffering that has followed us uh, with our soul uh, this lifetime and others if you believe in other lifetimes. So in this experience of the soul, we carry forth blockages into our physical, emotional, mental bodies. Okay? And when we deal with things at the physical, from the physical level, we, are, we may have some success, but that success might be limited. When we address it above the physical, the level of soul, then we're going to have a far higher degree of efficacy bringing about the results that we want because very often um, 
that which is the originator of our problems is our karma. And the karma resides at the level of soul. Heal the soul first, the mind and body follows. So Master Shaw is stating the exact same thing, except in Tao science terminology. Uh, deal, deal with things at the Wu world first, it will solve problems at the Yo world. Yo meaning the yin and yang world. Okay, welcome Lisa Brady, welcome Ilona, welcome Donnie Rollins. <clears throat> Next sentence. A human being is made of Jing Qi Shen. An animal is made of Jing Qi Shen. A mountain, a tree, a city, Mother Earth. Every planet, star, galaxy, and universe is made of Jing Qi Shen. For those that are new, what is Jing Qi Shen? Everyone knows the word Qi, Qi Gong, Tai Chi, that means energy. Jing means matter, so energy and matter. Jing Qi, Jing Qi, energy matter, energy matter. Jing Qi. Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word that means soul, heart, mind. Okay? So everything is made of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. It doesn't matter if it's a mountain, a river, a tree, you or me. We're all made of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. And the point that Master Shaw is making is because everything is made of Jing Qi Shen, it is affected by the soul world. Within our body, every system, every organ, every cell, every DNA, every RNA, every tiny matter, every space, <coughs> every space between the organs is made of Jing Qi Shen. Even the bigger spaces and the smaller spaces. I honor modern allopathic medicine. I was a modern allopathic medicine doctor for years. Traditional Chinese medicine, all medicines, and all healing modalities. Master Shah says I honor all of them. I am honored to share with humanity that in the soul, mind, body, science system and the soul, mind, body, medicine, we have shared with the scientific community and humanity that all sickness, all, that's a big word, is due to blockages in Jing, Qi, and Shen. So to state it differently, is due to blockages in soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. I honor, excuse me, next sentence. Shen blockages are blockages of soul, heart, and mind. Qi blockages are energy blockages. Jing blockages are matter blockages. These are many blockages in the Jing Qi Shen levels. There are many, many, many. People have cancer, people have headaches, people have uh, spiritual blockages, people have heart issues, all kinds of blockages. But they are blockages at the level of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. And they can all be addressed at those levels. Welcome Bozena, welcome Jennifer, welcome Franz. Thank you for joining. He goes on to say there are many uh, sicknesses in modern medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, all medicines, and all healing modalities. Can we find one cause for all sickness? It's a question. Can we offer sacred Wu world and Yo world healing for all sicknesses. I am honored to share with you my insights with humanity, the scientific community, all medicine and all healing modalities. So then, he, this is a, a highlighted one sentence secret. The one cause of all sickness in the physical body, emotional body, mental body and spiritual body is misalignment of your Jing Qi Shen between you, this physical yin-yang world, and the soul world from which we came. That when there's misalignment, we have blockages in our health, in our emotions, in our mind, and in our spiritual journey. So this one sentence secret clearly states, all of our suffering is related to misalignment and our misconnection to our source creator. New sentence, I will use the physical heart coming to today's teachings as an example. There are many sicknesses of the heart. There are heart artery blockages. There are heart valve malfunctions. There are palpitations. There are slow or irregular heartbeats. There is atrial fibrillation. There is hypertension, high blood pressure. There is hypotension, low blood pressure. There are many more unhealthy conditions in the physical heart. 
What do the Soul Mind Body Science System and the Soul Mind Body Medicine share with humanity about heart sickness? They share that all kinds of heart sicknesses are due to misalignment of the heart. Shen Qi Jing, what did he say earlier? Every organ, every cell, every system has Shen Qi Jing. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. So the heart itself has soul, heart, mind, energy, matter, and it has blockages, misalignment with, with source creation. <coughs> they are not aligned as one. <coughs> Excuse me. What is the sacred healing for the heart from the teaching and practice of the soul, mind, body, science system and the soul, mind, body, medicine? The teaching and practice are to align the hearts. This is very important. This is, the, this, is, this is where the rubber hits the road right here. So listen carefully. The teaching and the practice are to align the hearts, Shen Qi Jing, as one. As one. So the heart and the mind can be off just in general. The heart says, I love this person. The mind says, yeah, but they're a jerk. The heart says, I don't think this is right. But the mind says, yeah, but you're going to make a million dollars. The heart and the mind can be misaligned in our conscious field of awareness. But at the level of the physical organs and system cells and cell units, there can be an imbalance there between the heart and the mind, between the heart and the mind and the soul. The soul can say, I know the direction, go here. The heart says, I love you, my soul. I agree with that direction. And the heart tells the mind, go this direction. The soul said so. And the mind says, huh, I'm not going to do it. Okay, well, there you have a misalignment. The mind is not listening to the heart. The heart is listening to the soul. So when the mind doesn't listen to the heart, the mind says, go this way. It directs the energy in the matter. Soul leads the heart. Heart leads the mind. Mind leads the energy in the matter. If there is an imbalance anywhere in that flow, anywhere in that Shen Qi Jing alignment, there is a problem. Okay? So when it comes to karma of the heart or karma of the heart center, <clears throat> previous times, did your ancestors or you kill people in the heart? Did your ancestors or you break people's hearts by breaking vows of love? Did your ancestors or you uh, do anything that brought imbalance of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter? This then is a soul world issue because it follows us from lifetime to lifetime, either our karma or our ancestors, and it impacts the physical world. It impacts our soul, heart, and our mind. When we align our Shen Qi and Jing through the practices offered here today, what are we doing? We are giving the, um, the yo world, our physical experience down here, we are telling it what to do from above it by getting the soul into alignment, by then directing the heart. The mind then falls into order and follows the soul and the heart. Then the mind directs the energy and the energy directs the matter and the alignment occurs and all of a sudden we feel better. All of a sudden, our emotions improve. All of a sudden, our state of mind improves. This is the same wisdom teachings Master Shah has been teaching for 20 years. But he's had to rewrite it in such a way for the scientific community to comprehend why does soul healing work? Why, does, why is there literally over 1 million people reported miracles? <clears throat> because... We are aligning their Shen, Qi, and Jing. We are helping remove the blockages that separate us from the soul world because we think we're separate. Okay, further teachings. We're going to do a practice shortly here. What is the sacred healing for the heart from the teachings and practices of the soul, mind, body, science system and soul, mind, body, medicine? The teachings and practices are to align the heart's Jing Qi Shen is one. In fact, to align the heart, Jing Qi Shen is one is not enough. The sacred healing is to align the Jing Qi Shen 
of the heart of a human being, the Jing Qi Shen of the heart of Mother Earth, the Jing Qi Shen of the heart of Heaven, and the Jing Qi Shen of the heart of the Tao Source Creator as one. We know a human being has a physical heart. Does Mother Earth have a heart? What do you think? We conceptualize, but literally the answer is yes. Does heaven have a heart? What do you think? The answer is yes. What about our Creator? Yes. Everyone and everything is made up of Jing, Qi, and Chen. Everyone and everything has a heart. So heart, mind, energy, and matter. In the Yo world, which includes the human being's heart, remember Yo world is the Yin Yang world. Okay, in the Yo world, <coughs> which includes the human being's heart, Mother Earth's heart, Heaven's heart, and there are soul, mind, and body blockages. All of these hearts have misalignment in their Jing Qi Shen. Now, I want you to understand something very important. Master Shah repeats this hundreds of times. I'll repeat it again in case you haven't heard it. Mother Earth has lived for a billion years that we know of. Heaven, much, much longer. Why do they live that long? Because they are unconditional universal servants. They give unconditionally, ask nothing in return. Heaven gives life, Mother Earth gives life, gives, sustains and nourishes life, but asks nothing in return. Nothing. That is called unconditional love. Because they are, are literally souls, they are lives, they are alive, they have mastered at a very high level unconditional love, they live for a very, very long time, what you and I might consider immortality. We don't consider them as a human being because our brain hasn't expanded enough to realize that everything has a soul and everything can live forever if it follows the rules and the laws of, of life as a whole, which is be unconditional, be like your source creator. So they are what we are following. Mother Earth and Heaven are part of the yin and yang world. Okay. <clears throat> Mother Earth is yin, heaven is yang. We are within the yin-yang experience. When we align our Shen Qi Jing, our heart in this example today, to Mother Earth's Shen Qi Jing, that means we are aligning to a higher, um, a higher love, a, a higher frequency, a higher dimension, a higher everything. Mother Earth's Shen Qi Jing is four billion years old. She has learned unconditional love at a very high level. Heaven's Shen Shi Jing is even older, such a higher frequency. When we align our frequencies in Shen Shi Jing to Mother Earth and then to Heaven, we are literally pulling ourselves up and out of this uh, world of suffering. Okay? So in the Yo world, which includes the human being's heart, Mother Earth's heart, and Heaven's heart, there are soul, mind, body blockages. All of these hearts are not in alignment. <clears throat> in the Wu world, the world above the yin and yang world, the world of creation, which is the Tao and the oneness world, there is no misalignment. Tao is the creator. Tao is the source. Tao creates one. Tao, creator of all things, God, Jesus, Buddha, um, Tao is source creator. Some people call it God, some people call it the universal oneness. Don't square your head. Master Shah refers to it as Tao, oneness. Okay? In the Wu world, which is Tao and oneness, there is no misalignment. Tao is creator, Tao is source, Tao is one. From one, creates two. What is two? Two is heaven and earth, the yin-yang world. Okay, the yin-yang world. So source creator created the yin-yang world of heaven and mother earth. From two creates three. Three creates Wan Wu. What is Wan Wu? Wan Wu is all things. What is three? Three is Tao Source Creator and Mother Earth and Heaven. One creates two, two creates three. So Source and Heaven and Mother Earth is three. From these three, all things are created. Wan Wu means all things. 
Then there is reverse creation. All things return to two, return to one, return back to source. What is aligning our Jing Qi Shen? It is reverse creation. It is aligning ourselves back to source through the practices that have been brought uh, in, the, in these practices we're going to do shortly here. The one sentence secret of the soul mind body science system for the cause of all sickness and the healing solution for all sickness is the cause, this is a sentence, the cause of all sickness in the spiritual body, mental body, emotional body, and physical body is misalignment of Jing Qi Shen at the earth human heaven levels. And the solution to heal all sickness is to align our Jing Qi Shen, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, to humanity, Mother Earth, and then Heaven. Okay? Do you get it? Align our frequency to higher frequencies. Align our soul, heart, mind, body to higher frequencies. This is not uh, new wisdom, necessarily. But again, in this book, Tao Science, it had to be explained in a way that a scientist goes, Oh, okay, now it makes sense to me. Alright, now let's do a practice. So this practice is on page 127 of this book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science System. And let me see. <clears throat> I'm looking for some images to show you. Okay, so this is the first image. This is an image of a Bagua. Most of you have seen something like this before, have a vague understanding of it. So this is a Bagua. And it represents eight sides, including heaven, wind, water, mountain, earth, thunder, fire, and the lake. Um, each one have combinations which positively or negatively impact us depending on our alignment. This here is the chakra system. And you can see that each one of the Bagua superimposes on the chakra system. In the case of the heart center, it's association with the fire element. Okay? So the fire, <coughs> fire element and the water element are yin and yang, opposite of each other, the heart being the fire element. One of the students watching today has a significant headache. My guess is that if she employs this practice, she'll feel better. Okay? So now we are going to employ this practice once I find my page that I managed to lose. Okay. So we're going to do the four power technique. Welcome Inez. Welcome uh, to Jack Poulton. Uh, aloha to Sharon Saxby, Linda Loba. Welcome also to Julie Abbott, Kate Nicole. Welcome Vagna. Welcome Rosetta. Welcome Trina. Uh, and if I missed your name, forgive me. Welcome. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> so everybody, we're going to do the four powers. Body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. So sit up straight. Is your body power with your back away from the back of the chair, feet flat on the floor. This will allow the chi to flow through your body unencumbered. Put your palm over your lower abdomen. One palm facing your root chakra. So you can have one palm over your lower abdomen and the other one facing the base of your torso. Place your other palm, uh, we're changes. so one palm over the root chakra, one palm over your heart center, excuse me, following the guidance here. One palm over your root chakra, one palm over your heart center. Welcome, Gary. Now remember, Li Huo, we're going to use this word in a moment, Li Huo means fire, okay, balance fire. So for the soul power, 
We'll do that in a moment. For the mind power, we want to visualize healing fire, like a white red fire in your heart center. Okay? Your heart center is directly behind the sternum in the middle of your chest. It's got a fist sized energy center. So in this area, visualize a white red fire, bright healing fire. That's your mind power, creative visualization. For the sound power, we're going to chant Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi. So let me explain these. This is Mandarin Chinese. Ren Di Tian Dao. What have I been saying this whole time? Human aligns to earth. Earth aligns to heaven. Heaven aligns to Dao. Dao is one. One creates two. Dao, the source creator, creates heaven and mother earth. That's two. From uh, heaven and mother earth, source creator is three. From that is all things. So Ren Di Tian Dao literally means human, earth, heaven, Dao. Ren Di Tian Dao. Human, earth, heaven, Dao. Okay? Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo, balance fire or fire element, becomes one. Okay? He Yi becomes one. So the mantra Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi means human, earth, heaven, Dao source. Fire becomes one. This is balancing the fire aspects of our heart center message center. Okay? So everybody, place your hands in the appropriate position. Close your eyes. I will lead you through the soul power. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Close your eyes. Dear soul, mind, and body of my heart chakra, my fourth soul house, my physical heart, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. You are vital. For my heart and my message center. You are the key for purity. You are the key for intelligence. You are the key to transform the heart and consciousness. You are the vital chakra and soul house for love, forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, harmony, and more. You are the key to heal the emotional body and the mental body. You are the key to enlighten the soul, heart, mind, and body. You are the key to self-clear soul, mind, body blockages. I truly cannot appreciate you enough for your vital role that you play in my life. Please Purify yourself, develop yourself, transform yourself, enlighten yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me a moment. Continue to repeat. Dear the human being's fire, dear Mother Earth's fire, dear Heaven's fire, dear the Tao, Source Creator, fire. <clears throat> I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please purify, develop, transform, and enlighten my fourth soul house, heart chakra, message center, and heart. I cannot Thank you enough. For the sound power, we will chant Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi. I will chant in a certain uh, phrase, certain way, and you can follow along. So with your eyes closed, visualizing beautiful heaven, earth, fire in your heart, <clears throat> let us chant Ren Di Tian Dao Li Huo He Yi. Ren di tian dao li huo he yi. Ren di tian dao li huo he yi. 
，人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？ Visualizing the light, the fire in your heart, clearing blockages. Rendi tian dao li huo he yi. 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 Heaven's fire, Mother Earth's fire, is in your message center, clearing blockages. See the white red flame, clearing blockages. Continue to chant. Ren di tian dao li huo he yi. Ren di tian dao li huo he yi. Ren di tian dao. 离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以？人的天道离祸何以 ？Silently, human heaven earth, Tao source fire becomes one. Human heaven earth, Tao source fire becomes one. Human heaven earth, Tao source fire becomes one. Human heaven, earth, Tao source, fire becomes one. Silently see. Ren di tian dao li huo he yi. 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 Visualize your beloved Creator's heart. And inside your beloved Creator's heart is heaven. Visualize heaven inside your beloved Creator's heart, and visualize the heart of heaven. Visualize inside the heart of heaven is Mother Earth. Visualize the heart of Mother Earth is inside heaven. Visualize humanity is inside the heart of Mother Earth. See humanity inside the heart of Mother Earth. She sends such unconditional love. Mother Earth receives unconditional love from heaven. Heaven receives unconditional love from Tao Source Creator. See this love in the form. Of pure love, fire, 
inside your hearts. Continue to chant out loud. Rendi tian dao li huo he ri. 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 Human heaven, mother earth, fire becomes one. 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 What you chant is what you become when you apply the four powers. Let's do three more rounds. Rendi tian dao li huo he yi. 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 Rendi tian dao li huo he ri. 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 Let us bow our heads to our Tao Source Creator, to all the beings of Heaven, to beloved Mother Earth, and to all the fire of Heaven, Tao Source, Mother Earth and Humanity. We thank you for sharing your balancing frequencies and aligning our Shen Qi Jing fire to bring healing to our heart and our message center. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How, how, how. So, please share what this experience was like for you. Did you have any third eye images? What did you notice? Was there any sensations? If you had pain or suffering before, how are you doing now? If you had a headache before, how are you doing now? If you had a uh, foot ache or a toothache, if you had... Um, uh, if you were tired before and now you're awake. Vibration sensations. Anything that you may have experienced, please share. So this wisdom again is from Soul Mind Body Science System. Anyone can purchase that book if they'd like. Um, only Master Rulin teaches it directly as she is one of the co-authors. <clears throat> and she does have a lot of activity uh, both on the tv.drshaw.com and she has some um, courses that you can sign up for as well if the Tao science resonates with you. Lisa Zarniak says she feels much calmer. Her heart was racing. That's very good. Because the heart carries a lot of our pain, a lot of our suffering. Phyllis, still hurting, felt some energy flow, saw indigo, violet, and green. Some shortness of breath, said Lisa. Heat and vibration, says Karina. And if I see there's a lot of new folks here, and if I haven't mentioned your name, forgive me. It's, uh, Facebook doesn't always show me the people that are present. <clears throat> so, as I continue to, as you continue to make posts, I want to give a calling to everybody who's new, watching for the first time. If you've enjoyed this, I encourage you to come to one of my one-on-one uh, -on -one courses. Uh, there's a 52-week program where you can join anytime, one week, four weeks, three months. 
for self-healing, using wisdom like this, going through these books one by one, uh, one-on-one -on -one practice and empowerment of soul wisdom to transform your Shen Chi Jing blockages, your soul heart mind blockages, your karma blockages. And um, literally over a million people have applied these wisdoms and have transformed their lives, are much happier, much healthier. It's pretty simple wisdom. It doesn't butt up against anybody's belief systems. It's just practical wisdom that when applied works. And you can learn more uh, by following the posts that Kristen Rojas puts in her link. In her post, she's my assistant. And uh, if you click on that, you can learn more about how to register for those. It's coming up soon. If you want to further develop your spiritual channels, learn more about the power and significance of each of the chakras, the foundational energy centers, and specific uh, focus practices, the programs that I do are, are Zoom. They're one-on-one, -on -one, question and answer. It's like being in a classroom, except it's quite a bit more advanced uh, and very, very, very powerful. So you click on those links if there's of interest. So I'm going to keep reading some of the posts here. Um, Kathy uh, says she was distracted. Heat and vibration. Uh, namaste. Welcome, Bell. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining. So I wish to thank all of you for coming today. Please follow the links if you'd like to learn more about these upcoming courses for opening the spiritual channels. That's a 12-week program. I tell you, read the testimonials on that. My students are so thrilled with the results at the end of these 12 weeks. They are just uh, very, very happy. Uh, a lot of them have much better health uh, even after doing the spiritual channels course because a lot of our health blockages are related to our chakras and our energy systems. And the wisdom and practices uh, just just do amazing things to help us out. So I want to thank all of you for coming. Thank you also for sharing, letting other people know about this. Um, let us offer our gratitude to Heaven Tao Source. We thank our beloved Creator, all layers of the Divine Tao Source, all of the beings of light who have come to service today. We thank our individual Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints. And we thank... Um, the Tao, Heaven, Mother Earth, and Humanity's Fire for their blessings for us today. Countless bow downs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask all the souls to respectfully return. So, I will be back Thursday, three hours earlier than today's start time. Keep an eye out for my posts. Um, if you have trouble remembering these things, on my page, on the banner on my homepage, is the times that I am. And I list uh, eight different time zones there. It might not be your exact time zone, but you can probably figure it out by looking at some of the other ones. And I will be back Thursday, 9 a.m. Hawaii time, okay? So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.